Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a quick and easy scone recipe only using three ingredients. That's self-rising flour, heavy cream, and sparkling lemonade. So let's get cooking. So let me tell you, I resisted getting a baker's food skill for years. And I finally broke down after I had to make 120 cupcakes last month and thought I'm gonna get one. And you guys, this is a game changer. It's like $12 on Amazon and you won't have to worry about correctly measuring your flour or any of your ingredients because baking is a science and you need to have accurate measurements. And this one is so easy to use because when you're measuring flour in a regular measuring cup, you can sometimes pack it in there too much and it's gonna change the flavor and the texture of your recipes. So by using a scale, you're gonna get the perfect amount every time. And so now we're gonna be measuring 200 grams of flour. Now, if you don't have a food scale, this is one and a half cups plus two tablespoons. Now we're gonna set this aside. The next thing we're gonna do is measure 90 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. And now we're also gonna do 90 milliliters of sparkling lemonade. Place your flour in the bowl, along with your heavy cream. and most of your lemonade. We don't wanna over mix this because we don't want the dough to be tough. So then just add the rest of your lemonade. And then I like to get in there with my hands and just get those last little bits of flour that's on the bottom. Just like that. Place a little bit of flour on your cutting board so the dough doesn't stick. And we're just gonna form this into about a 10 inch circle. Maybe that's eight inches, but like that. And then we're just gonna take a knife and cut it into pie shapes and you should have eight pieces. I put them on a parchment lined baking sheet and now this step is optional but I think it gives it a nice sheen to the scones. And it's just um, some beaten egg that we're gonna put on the top. I'm gonna leave one without the egg so you can see the difference. Now this is also optional, but I'm just gonna sprinkle a little of pearl sugar on the top. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and these are gonna bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. They just came out of the oven. They were baking at 400 degrees for exactly 12 minutes, but it could take up to 15. Don't they look amazing? They're nice and puffed up and the egg and the sugar just gives them a little extra something, but they're still gonna be delicious, just plain. So let's try one. So now I wanna let you know, these are not gonna be a really sweet scone. They're more of a, a biscuit-like flavor. So if you wanna have a little bit sweeter, you can add like a tablespoon of sugar, or you can spread some jam on top. But of course, I like to eat them just with some Kerrygold butter, and they are so delicious. And of course, you can do the traditional English thing and use clotted cream with them. You can make strawberry shortcakes. You can also make the dough ahead, cut it into the triangles, and put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. And then whenever you want fresh scones, you can just pop them in the oven. It'll take about five minutes longer for them to bake. So I hope you guys are going to give these a try. They're so delicious, super easy. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody.